Arcado, Arcado, Arcudo. Arcudo. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Arcudo is a game developer that was, up until October 2009, best known for developing the DS games Nervous Brickdown and Big Bang Mini. But now they've decided to hit the Xbox Live indie scene. Their goal? Release a game? On average, once per month. Our now, anybody can put out a game on the indie way. game section once per month, but 99 times out of 100, it's probably gonna be some sh like swords and fucking monsters. But, Arkido has, so far, put out three high quality games, with each new release arguably better than the previous one. Now, game number one, Jump, was great on its own, and I do intend to cover that game as well as game number two, Swap. But today, I'm actually going to start with the most recent title, Arkito number 3, Pixel. That's right, I'm doing the whole damn series in reverse! This game tells the story of Pixel the Cat. That story is basically just him having an adventure, a pixelated adventure, which is awesome! Arkito Pixel is kind of like a standard platformer, much like Arkito Jump, except everything seems a lot more polished, and I'm really digging the art style. I love the designs on everything from Pixel the Cat to all the enemies to the stages and there's this neat feature where you sometimes zoom in on something to activate a door or chop down a tree or even find a hidden useless relic. Yay, I got this thing! Even though the game's only about six or seven stages, the levels are quite large and get progressively more and more challenging. Sometimes that challenge, though, comes from wonky programming glitches or unfavorable landings on jumps, but that's just some small problem. And aside from that, this is a solid title and an absolute must-buy! And just how many Microsoft points will this game set you back? 240! 240! That's $3! Each game is only $3! And they're all worth at least triple that! Especially the next game in the series, Arkito number two, Swap. 